Today with us is Matthias, and Matthias designs products that change your behavior, like an elevator, for example. But Matthias, help me out here. How does an elevator change your behavior? Yeah, actually, it's difficult to change behavior and help people to achieve their goals. But that is what we are trying to do with our products. And our latest object is the elevator. And this product is intended to help people to take the stairs instead of the elevator. So, for instance, when you want to go to the fifth floor, it's a habit to take the elevator to the fifth floor. But we observed that less people are taking the elevator when they want to go to the first floor. So we took this strategy and designed a box that is based on this strategy. And you can take this box and put it on the regular control panel of an elevator. And now when you press the button for the fifth floor, the box presses the button for the fourth floor. This means you need to take the stairs to reach the last floor. And by this, you make people aware about the, their habits and you make them aware about that they could change their behavior and you offer them choice. And, and why do you think it's needed to change people's behavior? So actually, we would like to help people to reach their goals. So for instance, lots of people want to lose weight or become physically active but don't know how they can implement doing sport or physical activity in their daily life. And with the objects we design, we want to help them by being aware of their choices they make. And the intention of our products is that over time, people can make the best choices by themselves instead of using our objects. And finally, we do not want to change the behavior of people. We want to offer them a choice that is in line with their goals. So. When they do it again, they will think about it twice and maybe change their behavior consequently. So, and now you're changing the behavior of individual people. Would it be possible to change the behavior of, say, a complete society? So, well, I hope we will. I would say we can design a product that is world changing, but we can make a difference on the individual level. Consequently, a lot of small change, changes will make a change on a larger scale like with our sustainability objects. So for instance, the intention of Forget Me Not, Forget Me Not it's a reading lamp, is to reduce energy consumption and that is beneficial for the environment, finally, for everyone. Cool, thank you for joining us today, today Matthias. And uh, for you guys at home, if you're really into changing your behavior, make sure to check out interconnection.com.